What is your biggest concern right now? What more than anything do you want to fix? Yeah, well, I thought, um, you know, the way Carolina played in the first half, shooting the ball uh, was tough. It put us in the hole, um, and Nance, you know, was, was hitting some shots. I told our guys I appreciated. I thought we fought like crazy in the second half. Played hard in the first half, but really fought in the second half and touched on a, a level of tenacity on the defensive end, um, keeping them off the glass, keeping them out of transition, and you know, limiting the quality looks for the most part that we needed to. Um, and no one's trying to miss a layup or miss a free throw. Um, I thought we ran good, tough, hard offense and got produced pretty pretty much quality shots, but. Um, you know, if that would have been, if we could have played two halves quality like that, maybe it's different. We didn't, um, but you know, everybody will look and say, well, you're struggling to score. True, you're missing some layups and, and finishes, but you just keep knocking. And um, you know, you try to make little adjustments. And I told the guys, there's a lot of basketball left. Uh, playing, obviously, a good, tough team. Next, a quick turnaround, but, um, but we'll get after it and, um, you know, keep keep trying to find ways. I, I keep hoping one of these days we're going to we're gonna break out of that little shooting slump. So and it, it'll happen. But um, but I credit our guys for how hard they played. And I thought Carolina played uh, when in desperation mode and they made some tough plays and, you know, had some fortunate banks go in. But um, it's a quality team. And you can see that. Okay, Mike and the team. Tony, obviously, they were very hot shooting the three in the first half. But it seemed like you guys were a step slow getting out to those shooters. Did you feel that way? Did you feel like the defense was yeah, we were trying to keep them out of the paint. A couple times we, you know, maybe had two movements, leaned in and got there. Um, you know, that's, uh, I think Jaden a lot of times was on Nance. Um, so that stretch, you know, that's maybe not as natural for Jaden. But we tried to really work. You know, you can't take away the three. Then the lane opens up and Baycott goes to work. So I thought we were okay except for a couple breakdowns. Um, but we shorted it up in the second half. And... You know, again, all you can always do is make them make the tough shots. And for the most part, there were a few of those. But a couple times, it's going to happen. And you're, you're not going to be uh, flawless on the defensive end, but you just keep staying continuous. And that's why I liked our second half defensively. I think that's something we can build on. Gene, then trust Tony mentioned missed opportunities to finish at the rim. How is that correctable? What can you do? Is it practice? or what? Do you... Yeah, we, no, we work hard on our finishing. You know, and it's, it's real length and athleticism in there, you know, and you go up and, um, yeah, you just – Yep, you keep you work at it. You keep trying to get the quality shots, and uh, going with it. But um, you know that's um, that's you work to get those kinds of shots. And you know sometimes we're just using them up now, and we're gonna they're, they're gonna start dropping. Right. Preston, yeah, Tony, you talk about the shooting slump in your years coaching. What do you usually you know contribute that to? Is it just a mental block or? Yeah, I mean sometimes good defense by the other opponent, good shot blocking, um, you know, and sometimes you just. You know, you get to this point, and it's just sometimes it's concentration and, um, you know, a number of things, but we'll keep working on it. And again, all you can do is, is work to get that shot. You continue to work on that stuff in practice um, and, um, and keep going and not get too discouraged about it. That's the thing, you know, as a young man, like, oh, you know, that, that feeling, I missed a free throw, I missed a layup. Now you just uh, you keep battling, and that's what I'll encourage these guys to do. Mike and then Tony, when I asked you after Boston College about Baycott missing the first matchup, you yep. kind of jumped in and said they didn't have Pete Nance also. <laughs> um, he was obviously very good tonight. What, yes. what was the challenge in that matchup? Yeah, I mean, you know, they struggled to shoot the ball their last game as we did. Um, and, you know, his ability to stretch it, and then he also could go inside. He's actually, you get it in person the first time I saw him. He's tall. I mean, he's a legit 6, 10, or 11. And, um, you know, he filled in the way – you know, Manic did last year. That's that he was, you know, that when they can stretch it out and then their guards can get going and Mondo and we did a pretty good job, then all of a sudden the floor opens up, that changes their dynamics. You know, I don't know what he's I'm not sure his three point percentage for the season, but um that puts a lot of pressure on your defense because they're spreading you out and they're looking to Armando and then obviously with the other guy's ability to hit hit it with him, it, it makes it a hard guard. Uh, Mike, uh, Jeff, then David. There was a sequence in the first half where Carolina had the ball in the paint, and it was, the ball was on the ground, and it looked like you could, the possession error was going your way. You had a chance to tie it up, and guys were kind of reaching, and it ended up, yeah. ended up being three. a three-pointer. Yeah. Was that tenacity that you saw in the first half lacking? You know? Yeah, I mean, in that situation, I, I can't remember who was involved, but, yeah, you got to just – dive on it get it and I you know I mean it's yes I those those hurt you know end of the shot clock bang hitting a bank shot all those you know when you're in a game where you need everything to go your way or most of those things those you remember so 
um, you, yeah, you got to sell out the 50-50 balls. And I'll look at the film, and if, if we didn't get on the floor or someone stood and watched it, um, that's, that's an effort thing. Okay. David. Tony, just from what you're accustomed to seeing from Carolina offensively, if someone had told you before the game yep. that they would not score a fast break point and that you would uh, And they'd only have three offensive rebounds. Well, and and, and, and you, you would outscore them in the paint. Yeah, you think you like your chances, <laughs> and you keep them off the glass. Um, but uh, you know, again, credit to them, and again, that's our league, and and um, we'll just keep battling. But the second half, the numbers are where we wanted it defensively, and and then I, you know you'll watch the film, and maybe I'll change my stance a little bit. But I uh, I want to keep encouraging those guys to just keep laying it, laying it down, everything they got. And that's what we'll have to do.